Jared Polin, fro knows photo. Dot com here with another raw editing file for this week that Greg and I will edit for you, and then you will get the chance to edit for everybody else and show how you would have edited this edited this raw file. Uh, you can find that in the link on froknowsphoto.com. By clicking that link, it will take you to the forum where you will be able to download the raw file and edit it, tweak it. Mix it, match it, lift it, tighten, squash it, uh, spread it, and then export it, and then put it up on the forum with your changes so we can see what you would have done to this photo. Uh, so here we go. Nikon D60, 9 second exposure at f22 ISO 100. So we have a very long exposure, which is allowing for this water to feather out a little bit. We do, did get some lens flare in here, uh, 50 millimeter 1.8. Yeah, we're getting some lens flare in there. Uh, this was taken at almost 7 o'clock at night. I'm not sure where in the world this was taken, but I thought it would be a cool file to edit. Um, just to see what the colors would boomify and look like. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah. Anyway, love this booming contrast. That is awesome. Color. A little bit of that. Well, in this case, the magenta. I'm liking the magenta, and I don't normally like adding magenta. But I'm liking the feel of that. So what do I want to do? Where's my exposure go? I'm bringing it down. Uh, I'm going to go right about... <laughs> right about there, because that's where it started. Blacks. Ooh, look at the colors that came from the blacks. Started. Here, we're, Here's where we're at right now. Clarity. Vibrance. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Black and white, anybody? Black and white. No, no, not with as much color that is in there. So let's pump up the vibrance a little bit. Oh, I did it a lot. I don't care. I like the vibrance. Don't want to overkill it. Eh, too much saturation would be killing it. I'll give it a little bit, but I'm going to be heavy-handed on the vibrance. The colors that are showing up out of this D60 right now are incredible. Look at Just look at the pinks, the purples, the blues, the yellows. The yellows up here, the pinks. I love this area right down here, the pinks, purples, and blues, except for the lens flare, which... Is it lens flare, or did somebody spray paint the dock? Anyway doesn't bother me I like this so far I really like the colors that have come out of this let's see what happens if we introduce more yellow we lose we lose those Ooh, ooh. if we take yellow out look at the blues that we're getting on a nice warm let's see Ooh. okay yeah so I am going to take out some yellow and make this even more bluer bluer -er. if I had a feather brush right now I would paint some happy trees right about here because this we could use some happy trees right in the middle or nice and soft lovely happy clouds is this dust yes it is that's what's going to happen i will actually oops i missed <laughs> i'll just move it right to there there we go the dust has been removed oh there's another one and let me explain to you why the dust is showing up so prevalent here when you're shooting at f22 the shutter is staying open longer you're using the very small f-stop opening uh, and grain or grain dust that is on the sensor is going to be seen more in those highlight and bright areas in this case there's not it's not too bad i you know what that d60 was the first nikon that offered it had like this vacuum suction system to suck the dust off the sensor and it's obviously doing a great job at f22 um this is where this picture started of course it went bam 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 ba -ba bam 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 pow so I'm liking this. I like taking out the yellow. I usually like the, my images to be a little warmer, but in this case, I really like the feel of this image. So that's where I'm going to stop, and I'm really curious to see what Greg did with this. I hope he didn't go black and white. I hope he's very similar to what I'm doing. I mean, le let me just do something that I took from, well, that Greg shows us a lot of. Let's just see what happens if we play with... Oh, come on. This show... Come on. Jeez, it shows you how often I use this. Oh, my. Oh, my. Boom. I like that. Look at that. So, basically, I dropped this 
gradation thing here. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Snap into a Slim Jim. All right. There. I like that even more now. That is great. That's where the sky was, and this is where it's... Ooh, this full... I love the colors. I can't wait to see what everybody does with this. I'm going to leave it at that, being that I'm so happy with how this file turned out. Awesome shot. Jared Polin. Fro knows photo.com see ya greg kizzolo fro knows photo.com love this image love it 100 as soon as jared sent it over to me I said wow what a cool image to use now we have this really awesome dreamy effect and that comes from one thing and that's a nine second exposure that the person used to create this image love it you have something in the foreground that is totally sharp that's not going to move and that's the dock and you have everything else around that is softened by the water and just makes it an awesome image even the sky gets kind of buttery and soft and really really cool makes it look really dreamy love it great photo nice for, nice for somebody to pay attention and try something different that's the best thing about it is trying something different. So let's make it pop. Uh, let's see. I'm going to bring in my blacks first just because I see they're lack they were lacking a little bit there. All right. And, yeah, that's looking good. Now, clarity. We need some more mid-tone contrast. Ooh, that makes me want to bring back my blacks. That's better. Let's go back and look, see where we're at. Looking good. I think I want to warm it up again. You know how I like my images warm. Okay. Cool. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. I think we can do better though. You know what? This is bothering me. I gotta get rid of this spot right here. I will be a bird or something, but it's gotta go. There. Gone. Okay. What can I do with it? Let's make it even dreamier. Yep. I like it. I know we're overexposing. I know we're pushing some stuff around. But we have the, the information in this file to really do whatever we wanted with it. We have a great exposure, and we can really push around that, that data wherever we want. Now, opening up that exposure, bringing our blacks in so we get our blacks in here. Now, let's push our clarity. Well, let's see. Let's... Let's bring our recovery back just a little bit. How about our brightness back? What does that look like? Hmm. I actually kind of like it right there. Let's see where we're at up in here. I don't know. What do you think? Should I stay here? I think I'm going to stay here. I think I'm going to adjust from here. I think I'm going to back off on my saturation a little bit because I don't want I want I want that to continue that smoothness uh, that kind of subdued look because I think this image that it's that's what it's it's talking to me it's starting to talk to me and that's what it's telling me that it's that the colors need to stay subdued and not a hundred percent sure uh, you know not super super poppy or contrasty or highly saturated so let's back it off a little bit somewhere 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 I think that's good now we can play with our temperature even again since it's different alright you know what that is kinda that is making it look with that really high temperature is kinda giving it a little bit of a sepia kind of feel let's go back to 14 here on our saturation yes I love it I love it really cool image it's really turning out well let's give it a little more contrast I'm gonna back up on the black since I changed my contrast so beginning and end start that's where we're at now I think it's cool S still gives us that dreamy effect and I love it what else can we do? Is there anything? Come on, start yelling at the TV. Start yelling, yelling at the computer. Saying, tell me what to do. Come on, tell me your ESP. Something. 
Let's push around some individual colors. I'm sorry, individual set to tones. And see how we do. Darks. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. That's good. Maybe we need to to go to like 10 or something here. There we go. I like that. Let's go back and look at that again. Yes, just gives us all even a, even more pop just jumping out of the screen. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Cool image. Cool image. Different kind of edit. Let's do a before and an after again. Before, nice and cold, but once again, we have plenty of data here in the histogram, and you can see it's all the way across for us to work with. So when we start out with something like this, with a great image, we can push it around and make it anywhere. I love the dreamy feel of this. It just has, I don't know how to explain it, but buttery and smooth, and it's cool. It's cool. Love this image. Great edit. Hopefully it's different than Jared's. We will see. Greg Cazillo, fro knows photo.com. See ya. And here we are. You got Greg down here in the bottom right corner. You got me down here in the bottom left corner, weighing 158 pounds soaking wet. Is that a fat joke? That's me. That's certainly not you at 158 pounds. Standing five foot eight without a fro, six foot two with a fro. It's Jared, Wah! in the right corner, standing six foot four, four weighing three hundred and fifteen. Really? Yep. Are you sure? Yep. Three hundred and fifteen pounds with a waist size of what? I don't know. Big. <laughs> With with a very interesting haircut, goatee, and sideburns, we have Gregory Cazillo. I like those sideburns. They're pretty good. Look at them. Look. <laughs> yeah, you have a special lady who does your sideburns, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. Sure. I, so what do you think of this photo, Greg? Uh, I think it was a really cool photo. I loved how it was something completely different. Definitely wasn't what we usually get. And uh, the fact that it was a nine-second exposure, just, uh, just again, something different. I liked it. Yeah, it's just, it's what we're looking for, photos that are capable of being edited. You know, there's a lot of photos that we get that are right on that just don't really show enough to edit. So they don't have to be perfect pictures. You know, the composition, we're looking for the composition and everything to be there, um, but just may need a little bit of help. And in this case, I went to the extreme on the left of... Um, adding the gradation in the sky and pumping up the colors and making them different. And Greg, you went your direction. You mean oversaturation on your end? I, that doesn't look oversaturated to me. I even pulled back on the saturation and vibrance, but I think it looks uber duper sweet compared to, to yours, which looks totally not realistic. Uh, you know what? I went for the old school look, the old, uh, you know, desaturated, uh, could have been from the seventies or something like that. Kind of look old film look. Yeah. And I liked it. Yeah, I mean, that that's just showing you there's photography does not stop when you press the button. It, it continues on into your processing because the processing is part of your style. Where Greg doesn't ever touch the contrast slider, I touch the contrast slider, and I even used the fill light on this. Did you watch my video, Jared? I did. I don't remember what you did, though. <laughs> I totally touched the contrast slider, especially on some of, the, some of them lately. I've been using it, I promise. All right, see, I mean, that's just... You know, there's a whole lot of things you can do with these with these raw files, and this is just showing you two different examples, and they're extremely different and both very usable in whatever situation they would be used in. So, all right, Jared, here's the test. Yeah. You you tell me one good thing about mine, I'll tell you one good thing about yours. How's that sound? <laughs> <laughs> I, Come on, you can do it. Come on. Well, I mean... <laughs> throw him under the bus <laughs> i i got not much to say i just i like my i get so in touch and you know i like mine i knew you couldn't do it what is there I to knew do you'd out. i just think it's too green too green that's the old you school there is no green it's all it's all brown yeah the, the green sepia. in the water oh you barely even notice it all you see is the the brown tones in the wood listen i would like your photo if it didn't so happen to look, well, if it looked better than mine. 
You're so opinionated. I'm very opinionated. Is there anything you want to say, say about one mine, thing Greg? About somebody. I used the gradation yeah. in yours. I used the gradation that I learned from you to make the sky go boom, boom, pow. It only took you six months. Only. <laughs> well, no, I guess I've been teaching you stuff for 15 years, 10 years. <laughs> I guess more like 10 years, right? Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. These are two different, you know, I think yours comes out very clear. It looks nice and sharp, you know. That's, you know, I see that in yours. Compared, mine doesn't look as sharp for some reason. Maybe that's the color and the saturation, but yours seems to have a little bit more depth feel to it. But Yeah, I opened up the exposure and then brought my blacks in, and I actually think I might have used a little fill light, too. Uh, as you say, my favorite my favorite slider. Greg likes fill light. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think that extra sharpening probably came from the clarity, and I think I used clarity on this one. And definitely the exposure and opening that up. All right, so I'm going to wrap it up with that and let you all know that you can submit your photos to, f what is it, froknowsphoto at gmail.com and also find this photo via the link on the website to take you right to the forum where you can download this raw file and try your hands and see what it looks like when you edit it. That's all I got to say, Greg. You got anything? Yeah, I was going to say, I might as well say it, since I do like your co the color of your water. That's right, that's beautiful water. Look at the blues and the purples. But I do still like mine better. Uh, well, hey, that's why there's vanilla and um, and chocolate. I was waiting for you to say vanilla and vanilla. Well, it's all good. <laughs> anyway, Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya!